Serum sickness is a term which you must have heard about. It is a reaction by your body to some foreign proteins. The most common described um, type of serum sickness used to happen after anti-snake venom. It can also happen after some drugs called antithymocyte globulin, which is given for transplant patients. It's also some drugs called rituximab, which is very commonly used. Some foreign proteins which are entering your bloodstream through this uh, anti-snake venom or these drugs. And some vaccines like anti-rabies vaccines, they can initiate an immune response from your body and the body starts to produce some cells which attack these proteins. However, the cell production takes five to seven days by the body. So after injection of products containing foreign proteins, the body reacts by producing what is called antibodies. These antigens are the proteins and the antibodies react together. And if the large amount of this antibody complex that you develop, they start depositing in multiple airy areas, most commonly the joints. And then you have what is the typical symptom of serum sickness, like a feverishness or fever with joint pains. It could be severe or mild. Most of the times it is self-limiting disease. You need not worry about it. However, if the symptoms are more, the doctor will may prescribe you corticosteroid injections or tablets and that most of the times relieve you. 